Hey beautiful Virgo, welcome back to the Lucky Tarot. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. I hope you all are doing well. This is your weekly reading for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, Virgo signs. I truly apologize for not uploading last week's reading, my dear. My voice wasn't really at the best condition and I had to take a couple of days just to rest it off. But thank you so much for being patient as I get this readings done. Today we're going to start things off with the animal medicine card. We're going to look into your energy and as well as the person or situation that you guys could be dealing with, okay? Please note that the roles here can be reversed. Do check your other signs for important messages in case this do not resonate, okay? I also want to take this time to thank each and every one of you for all your likes, shares, comments, subscriptions. And of course, to those that have greeted me on my birthday, thank you guys so, so much for the love and support. All right, so Virgo, without further ado, let's get right into your reading. Animal medicine card, please, for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for this week. Animal medicine card, please, for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for this week. All right, so two cards out. We have the panther and the spider showing up. So I feel like this is you, the spider, because with the upside down triangle and the line in the middle, this is the chemical symbol for Earth. Okay, you guys could also be dealing with another Earth sign. But over here, I feel like this is the person or situation that you guys could be dealing with. The panther animal spirit. Somebody is acting very protective and defensive. I don't feel like they're instigating an attack of some sort, but they feel like they need to defend themselves here. So it's a very intense energy. They're coming at you very strongly as well. Um, they are merely reacting to something that they feel maybe it's a threat to their emotional security. If this is a romantic interest for some reason, I'm getting that you're too busy with work, maybe Virgo, or you're definitely preoccupied with something else. Whoever this person or people are, it's coming from a place of lacking stability. So it's like a defense mechanism that they put their walls up and they're acting rather defensively. Um, the upright triangle here is the chemical symbol for fire. You guys could be dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius. If this is not a person, it could be a very intense situation right now wherein you need to protect your energy. You need to set boundaries because this could be anything that is a threat to your emotional security. Okay, it's causing some stress, some anxiety, some unnecessary pressure. This could also be deadlines, okay, or maybe a boss that's micromanaging you, shouting at you, screaming at you, whatever that, that case may be. Um, just keep focusing on the task at hand, Virgo, okay? Carefully put the time into building this project or this thing that you have going on here by paying to the details, smallest of details. Soon enough, you're going to accomplish the job. Okay, the spider means you are a very creative person. So I feel like you're about to complete a task that only you can accomplish here. It's almost like an impossible task. So treat this, treat this panther as um, maybe a challenge, a competitor, or something that can motivate you towards uh, perfecting this task at hand. Don't see this as something that can throw you guys off your balance, okay? So we're going to see what could be the challenge in this situation. Now I'm getting a different narrative this is going to resonate if some of you um, are dealing with somebody who's jealous of your work or maybe is out here to see and point out some mistakes in your work. This could be a very perfectionist energy as well. But I'm really drawn to the color of the eyes, okay? And green to me could be a color of envy. They could either choose to see life into this, that you're bringing life to... And inspire everyone with your work or they can see this in the eyes of being envious or jealous of what you guys are able to create for a go take this how it ever resonates for you guys okay or they might actually be jealous because you guys are spending so much time with this and not paying attention to them okay let's see what is the challenge for this energies for this week okay all right so we have the dragonfly this means there's a lot of buzzing in this person's mind or people um, there could be a lot of downloads coming in, but they need to filter this, this thoughts, okay? The dragonfly is very close to the energy of the moon card. Um, it's, it's, it's illusion. If something is being exaggerated in their mind, they're not able to manifest clarity in this situation. It's like they're letting this, um, this noise in their mind get the best of them. Instead of maybe sitting down and trying to break down everything or trying to analyze things from um, a rational perspective, it's like they're giving in to their, you know, their automatic response to become defensive instead of 
talking things out with you or airing things out with you they're a little bit keeping this all to themselves this is what i'm seeing and this is a problem um, I'm also going to point out that we have a new moon in Aquarius and this upright triangle with a line in the middle. This is the chemical symbol for air. And air signs are showing up, up on almost all the readings because we do have a new moon in Aquarius happening on the 24th and 25th. And Aquarius is a sign that wakes us all up, you know. It, it's about forward thinking, having the ability to manifest our dreams or the things that we want to accomplish. But it starts with, you know, surprising people by speaking up for yourself. So it could be also here, Virgo, where you need to, to speak up for yourself at work or whatever this is that you have going on. Okay, it, it, it's you waking somebody up. Maybe they're not doing their part or they're sleeping off on the task at can, whatever case that may be. Or you're about to wake them up for their behavior, for how they're treating you or how they're coming across to you guys. It's about you um, truthfully addressing the issue at hand because i feel like you're gonna find it really hard to accomplish this if this energy is around you still and the more that you ignore this the more that this panther is gonna keep on pressing on you and pressure you okay pressure you here so we're gonna open this messages further using the tarot I'm gonna put this cards on the side and we're gonna do a celtic spread okay It can also mean that if this is an ongoing issue or person, um, it's a time for you no longer to put up with draining situations like this for the sake of peace, okay? But it's rather standing up for yourself here in toxic situation. It's about knowing your self-worth and being confident to stand up for what you believe in, okay? If there's any gossip or people, something posting on social media for some of you, because the spider can mean network or connections with people, um, you know, they're trying to upset you or upset everyone by making loud and emotional scenes for some reason. They're trying to be loud. They're trying to create some buzz here. But I feel like it's going to backfire on them. They themselves are al already causing half of the trouble here. I, th I feel like this is going to be resolved by you standing up for yourself, okay? I, I just really sense some bully energy here. This is not going to resonate for all, but I'm getting specific information. So even though you work with these people or you live with these people, it's having the maturity to work alongside with them, but also having a healthy dose of self-respect, uh, not to let somebody step down on you, okay? Um, I feel like, Virgo, you can live with yourself if, if you ever made a mistake to hurt somebody or inflict pain on somebody. Uh, and maybe it's because you're a very balanced person. You don't expect others to be perfect. So your attitude in this is very sensible and reasonable, Okay, you can handle anything. You can learn to accept the past and walk away from situations that are toxic. It's just this person or people can't let it go is what I feel like. So try to find a way to secure your emotions and find balance in this situation, okay? Let's see. What else can we get for Virgo and this person or people that Virgo is dealing with for this week? All right, here we go. We're going to cut the deck and see what comes up. All right, so hard the matter we have here, the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so this is a very, really solid new beginning. Also some abundance coming in, good money. Or I feel like you have something good going on here, something really, really stable. Okay, but this also means that you have a stable relationship with yourself. Uh, you are a very grounded person. You know what you want and you know how to get there. You're not easily shaken. This cannot really penetrate you or disturb you as much as this panther tries to, you know, stir up some attention. Okay, because you having the earth energy means that it takes a lot of energy to throw you guys off your balance. So the challenge here is the seven of cups. Somebody's causing confusion. There's also that veiled illusion here with the dragonfly. Okay, they could be trying to mess with your mind about the situation, but... You know, don't get carried away here. Seven of Cups means use your intuition as a weapon to see behind the veil of illusion and get down to the bottom of the situation, okay? So we're going to clarify this. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here, please? So the Father of Wands. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, like I already mentioned earlier. 
Uh, I don't know why I'm getting that the father wants could be demanding something from you, maybe demanding ma money for some of you or demanding a new beginning for some of you. It could be any case, really. But the father wants that definitely has a very strong personality, strong ego. I I'm only getting here the shadow side, okay? But it's like, I don't know, they're speeding something up or they want something to be done right away, okay? But their motivation could be hidden. They haven't fully asked themselves why they're behaving this way or what is motivating this person to behave this way. All right, so we have the Ace of Swords. Wow. This means somebody's concealing the truth, okay? There could also be some feelings of denial. They're in denial about something here. This is also the energy of uh, maybe if they're gossiping about you, saying something about this whole thing. They're not looking in the mirror to analyze themselves and being truthful about themselves. Because sometimes the way they treat others is more of a, a reflection of how they treat themselves. Okay, this is what I'm getting so far. So, you on the other hand, like I mentioned, you're very balanced and you have respect for other people. But this person, it, it talks about their self-respect as well. The manner to which they can manipulate things to get the outcome that they want. All right. The Ace of Swords can also mean, you know, speaking up for yourself here, Virgo. I mentioned earlier about the new moon in Aquarius. Do not be afraid to use your power because you are a conscious manifester and you can start creating the outcome that you want if you only step into that power. Okay. So what is the root or cause of this? We have the Temperance card. This is Sagittarius energy. Okay. Like I said, somebody wants to throw you guys off your balance. But with the temperance card, the root or cause of this, if you've been too sacrificing for this person or people, if you've been uh, maybe too giving of your possession, of your money, or you're quick to maybe help others, you are inclined to rescue someone who could be a very uh, needy or they are very dependent on you for some reason, I'm getting that. Maybe your loyalty has been misplaced in the past because I feel like that could be the case. You feel like you're obliged to keep on providing and providing and working yourself, okay, just to benefit others. But the temperance card warns you that you might be doing things a little bit extreme here. So it's time to really cut your losses and, you know, just not try to overextend yourself too much. Seek out a more balanced approach here, my dear. It's a balance between the need for love and desire for a spiritual connection, okay? You can be kind, loving, and unselfish, but don't allow yourself to be a martyr, okay? Or used and manipulated by this panther or people. Why is the temperance card here, please? The tower, yeah, that old structure, old way of doing things need to come down because it's no longer is um, a stable one, okay? And I also see, see here the tower is going to be a shaking up process. We do have that Aquarius as a sign that wake us all up. So you will begin to realize something here. Uh, that it's no longer fair. It's no longer right. Universe seems to be stepping in to heal you. You are also divinely protected and divinely guided. It could be a painful shaking up process, but it's meant to happen. It's meant to happen so you can realize your self-worth here. And for things to... Um, I feel like for you to realize what you really deserve. What happened in the recent past for Virgo, please? The high priestess. There was a flux in the situation. And your intuition could have already given you a hint or a hunch that this was not to be fully trusted. The high priestess can also mean that you've been silent about this. You are not speaking up about this. Even if you already noticed something is wrong in the situation. Uh, but you kept going on it anyway, because the high priestess means that you were all you were sort of processing the whole thing. Okay, you were just observant, you were watching it, you were aware of it. But also for some of you, it could be a sense of silence where you don't want to upset this people or person. You know what I mean? You don't want to upset them by walking away. Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like you in this situation is the abundant, loving, and generous person. But you were being really, really silent about your efforts. Um, Nine of Pentacles means that somebody wants the finer things in life from you. Okay? They wanted the finer things in life from you. you wanted, they wanted what you have here. Again, there's this energy of jealousy and envy.
Let's see. What is the best that can come out of this situation, please? We have here the Nine of Wands. So letting go of that burden, my dear. Nine is a number of about to complete the lesson. Also, the Nine of Wands can usually show up if somebody feels that their voice is suppressed, okay? Um, so really, it's time for you to stand up and say your truth here. Uh, we have here the Daughter of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. So it's time for a new approach, a new way of doing things. Three of Pentacles means that uh, it's finding a way to work with these people, living alongside with these people, rebuilding the foundation, okay, after the tower has hit a discussion, an explosive discussion of some sort. It's meant to happen so that you can have a chance to do things differently, okay? Maybe this is people starting to put respect more to you and treating you in a more healthy way, okay? What is coming in the near future for Virgo in this situation, please? We have here the Two of Cups. Wow, somebody's going to ask for an apology or try to reconcile with you. Um, but that can also mean I feel like some of you are going to start moving forward towards what brings you emotional fulfillment. This could be a new person, a new opportunity, or this can mean loving yourselves, okay? Whatever case that may be because we have different scenarios for each and every one of you. Universe is gonna um, I feel like it's gonna allow you to meet somebody new here seven of swords Wow um, I Also feel like somebody's still watching you observing you if there's this energy of envy Keeping one eye on you still let's see why is the seven of swords here, please Three of swords they're dealing with the heartache still uh, they still are not able to fully release this burden on their shoulder here, this void in their heart. But this can also mean if you've been hurt by this people or person in the past, this is a time where you must um, no longer run away from what needs to be released, Virgo, because I feel like love wants to knock on your doorstep. Um, new love wants to come in here. So let's see, how do this people or person view you at this time? The chariot, cancer and energy. So these people view you as you guys are very strong individuals, passionate, and you're moving forward. Um, this can also mean that they see you as very hardworking, but also be careful not for people to see you as your kindness as a weakness over here. Okay. Let's see. Why is the chariot card here? The magician. Wow. But you're also addressing the imbalance right now so that things can start moving forward and have a different outcome. They also see you that you're open to engage in communication or address the issue here. It's like you're becoming the bigger person in this. You guys could also be connecting with a Virgo, another Virgo. But I see you guys being the one taking more active um, or initiating a bold move here. If in the past you were pretty much like the yin energy, just waiting for things to happen, observing. Now, this whole time, spirit was preparing you for a big transformation. And you guys are going to appear quite different. You're going to show another side of you, Virgo, that people haven't before. The confident version of you, the bold version of you. Okay, the one that takes charge. It's kind of like a take charge attitude or mentality. So, how people see you with the five of cups. They see you as, you know, you're in the process of releasing past disappointment. You're grieving over the ending or what ha whatever has happened here in the past. And you're processing that already. Four of Cups. But some people see you as you're still in the process of completely, you know, filling up your well here. If you've been drained in previous relationship. They can also see you as closed off when it comes to love. Maybe you guys are just focused on career, even though love is knocking on your doorstep. Okay, if this is the same person, though, that's why they're feeling a little bit here in the um, aggressive side. They seem to be wanting to take a, make an offer to you, but they feel quite rejected because you guys no longer want to be with this person is what I'm seeing. You would rather focus on your goals and your dreams and being really, really creative. Let's see. Hopes and fears, please. Two of Pentacles. So... 
somebody is hoping that they can still keep you in the loop or ha somehow has a sense of control over you guys still son of swords but somebody is hoping to have a straightforward communication but be careful if this is somebody starting some drama or conflict or fight but you guys could be in this energy of swiftly coming in using that sword to finally cut that attachment the old way of doing things that of which has a false sense of control over you guys okay whatever that binds you in this energy as well let's see what is the final outcome for this for virgo please final outcome we have here the mother of cups so water sign cancer scorpio pisces i feel like you're gonna close your cup and your intuitive abilities is going to allow you to really process the whole thing, guide you towards a calmer place, be selective of who you allow in your, in your space, okay? And also not drain your energy anymore. You're not going to put up on any draining energy, toxic situation. It's about self-worth, okay? And being really, really protective of your heart. Yeah, Five of Swords in reverse. You're coming out of that energy of conflict, of that uh, child childish energy or immaturity that someone has brought upon you and you're also resolving the inner conflict that you feel here so that's what i'm seeing so far overall i feel like you're going to leave the situation behind you're going to focus on the better things that's coming towards you and the universe is going to help you th with that okay let's see what is your advice towards um virgo moving forward in this situation advice for virgo moving towards in this situation Okay, we have here the owl spirit. You see clearly now. That is a very, very strong message. This people or person may not still be seeing things clearly, right? Their mind is all over the place. Uh, there's the veil of illusion and confusion, but you guys see it clearly now. The owl is a very perceptive, clairvoyant animal spirit. You already see things, how it's going to turn out to be. So use that as a guidance to you know, know what decision to make every step of the way. The owl also speaks of your wisdom you're uh, based from experience okay so let the owl guide you just observe everything and everyone around you and you will soon find the answers that you need okay you will see it clearly so this is your reading for this week please take whatever resonates and leave out what doesn't thank you guys so much for watching till the end i'm sending you love and light and namaste